Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you well. This is Dan Pendergraft, aka D-Pen, and this is not the video that I expected to be releasing. And that is because my entire external hard drive decided to corrupt itself or something. I haven't figured it out. But the entire last video was on there, so unfortunately I was not able to get that released yet. However, I thought that would be a good opportunity to speak on the topic of relative time scales. What is the time perception of human beings and how does that differ from the time scale of cosmic events and epochs and other long stretches of time long from our perspective. We can get really intent on the timing that we expect and that we desire and that we believe is best. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of timing. No. Why so low? Hello, and we are back. So, if that doesn't evidence what we are going to explore, then I don't really know what does, because anything that we see as accidental or random ends up being a way of life circumstances redirecting themselves into what they truly are meant to be in and that is so strange and hard for humans often to grasp because from the point of view of a geological epoch some long stretch of time that may be thousands tens of thousands millions of years billions of years the space of 10 20 years is just a blink so if we have some desire that's that's very deep in our being if it's in line with what the purpose of our existence here is it will become actualized it's just not always given to us to know the exact manner of its realizing the sequence of the events since we're perceiving time in a linearized fashion although they're all interconnected the other thing i wanted to mention was just how much inner anguish can be caused by resisting the flow of things how it needs to go rather than how we want it to go a lot of grief depression just sadness irritation could be expressed in so many ways but an emotion that's caused by things not going our way um, how we envisioned it that emotion is caused by the resistance, by the unwillingness to surrender what is lesser, which is our view, for the greater. And of course, that is the part of the deeper meaning behind the phrase, thy will be done, because it has to do with surrendering the lesser will and connecting into what could be called the cosmic will or the divine will. And I just wanted to make a short video on that little topic and hopefully that would be slightly interesting and uh, well I wanted to put something out because it is my intention going forward to try and do relatively consistent frequent videos on different things um, so just hit a little bit of a hit of a little bit of an obstacle with the um, hard drive issue that I'm gonna hopefully get sorted tomorrow since today is Memorial Day and yeah, maybe someone will be able to to relate to my experience. One other thing that I did want to talk about was the fine line between being sensitive to things and being hyper fragile. Meaning that if you really care, you're really tapped in to your intuition, your emotions, your dreams, um, your passions, you can get to a point to where if anything goes wrong, then it just shuts you down and it can be so easy to quit off of just something very little or perhaps it's many little things that stack up 
or maybe it's one big crisis. But whatever the case may be, it's so it takes so much discipline, I think, to tap into that courage and that perseverance to just say, let's keep going no matter what over the stretch of long periods of time, especially day in and day out. But it's so important because you look at people that have gone a long way towards what they want to achieve or what they're meant to achieve. You know that there were so many steps along the way that they could have given up or maybe they did give up and then they step back up the next day or whatever and they tried again. So again, this is not the video that I thought I was going to be making. But it's it's really interesting to see how as you speak of these things, which is obviously bringing it forth in a verbal way, it really does help explore those topics more within your life in a practical way. And it's not just um, a philosophical idea or some intangible concept, but you start to see to what degree it is actually something that's intimate to your daily experience. Let me know what you've experienced with regards to this whole idea of the universe's timing versus your timing in the comments below. And don't forget to upvote, like, comment, share, subscribe, re-steam this, this, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video. And also you can hit the notification button on YouTube if you liked this video. So I love you guys and have an awesome day.